Welcome back everybody to my channel. This is Trisha Creative Minds Creations um, and today I'm going to be doing another episode of my Forgotten Tools series. Um, and then what the tool I'm going to be introducing today is the gift box punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. Okay, now with this uh, board, when I tried to use it years ago, um, I think my uh, problem was is that I was only scoring right here. And then I would turn it and I was like, okay, what is going on? It's not turning right, right? I mean, it's looking more like my the envelope punch board. And so, uh, like some people, uh, namely males, uh, men, they do not like to use instructions. And that was my fault. I did not use instructions. Okay. Well, like my other videos and the other tools that I first time using, I did watch some videos and I've learned to learn how to use it and I brought up my trusty little instructions which I didn't use last time I said well duh Trish uh yeah should have used instructions so we're going to try this again today I'm using the envelope punch board and I just pulled out a 12 by 12 piece of paper I already looked at the board and we're going to make a 4 by 4 by 4 box so I already got my um cardstock we're gonna use so let's go ahead and get started and see how we do this okay so so because we got four by uh 12 by 12 piece of paper we're gonna start on the x uh the extra large line and uh we're going to um on the diagonal score on the diagonal line too so i'm gonna put it right here on the extra large Line. Now it's been a while since I watched the video, but uh, I'm gonna to try to do this. So we're gonna punch. We're gonna score here. Oh, wait a minute! I forgot to extend this little tab. Let's line it back up again. Punch. And we're gonna score here, all the way up to here. This is a piece of cardstock that I um used to uh oh wait a minute I also got a score right here and um I forgot to uh set my cricket at the right material when I was making my gazebo so on the other opposite side of this it has uh some cut marks on what didn't punch out all the way okay so let me just again line it up on the extra large line go to punch score right here it's not my problem i was only scoring at one spot and you score at three different areas Punch. Score. And score. Again, it's been a while since I watched the video, so now we're supposed to punch. Let me break out the first instructions. I'm pretty sure we'll punch somewhere else. I'm thinking right here. Supposed to line it up the lines. Then gotta cut out the little notches to close the box. So we're gonna stick right here and lose that little punch right there. I'm 
going to I didn't punch it good. I didn't have it in there. You got to make sure you got it in there good. Okay. Now, to close this box, I'm just going to um, use wet glue. And I got, I got some plugins. I'm going to hold it closed. And we might go ahead and decorate it too. So... I'm going to go ahead and fold on all the score lines. If you can see those cut lines on there where it didn't go all the way through that's because I was uh not paying attention to when I was supposed to be in just gonna gather these in like this on the inside. Uh my material when I was cutting on my gazebo and it didn't cut all the way through. Well, that's pretty easy. Okay. Now it so on the instructions you can have your cut lines, I mean your boxes on the this these flaps on the outside or inside. My mine's on the inside. So and I'm going to I've gotta glue these shut. And I think I'm gonna try to do this all in one shot. I'm gonna use my Tombow glue. And I'm gonna use that, close like that, and then fold it over this way. So I'm gonna put some glue there. And um I don't know if the clothespin will fit in there or not. Probably won't. Let's hold it for a minute. Probably should use my other glue because it'll hold faster. My turbo tacky. Yeah. Let's go ahead and use the turbo tacky. Yeah, that might have hold it real good. Okay. We're probably going to stick with this one. It held pretty good. Pretty fast. Okay. So again, we're going to... I'm just going to... Glue right there. I probably won't need the, the uh, clothespins. I'm going to put some glue in here. And fold it down like that. See I'm just holding this down. I'm folding two flaps in this side to one flap. I remember the first time I used this and I wasn't doing it right. And I didn't use instructions. I didn't watch any YouTube videos. And I'm like, man, like, what the heck? Crap, man. I can't, I don't know what I was doing. So I said, well, I think that was one of those days where my patience was not going to be cooperating with me. So I just, like, we'll mess with this later. So I just put it back in the package and put it up. Um, Reese is not in the package now because when I moved out here, I'm going to crap shit. I went ahead and just took it out of there because it was like in a really big pack and it was just taking up space. So I went ahead and took it out of the box or out of the package that it was in. I so I want this on the opposite side. I probably should have. I'm just going to hold this down. Um, it's coming to good. It's a nice size box for one. Four by four, so I guess it is. So uh, I went ahead and just stored it without its package. Because it was just too big. And I think I'm going to like this little tool. I'm hoping there's a way to make... I'm going to put cool on the inside too. There's a, a way to make different size boxes instead of all squared. Or most of them. Well, I've seen a thing that different dimensions so they're not exactly square like this 4x4x4 four by four by four box but I like make some slender boxes um, of course I could just make some files on my Cricut and just do that way for some reason it's not straight but oh well. and so here it is let's hold it down for a minute so there it is Fold out. Let's see, I glued the flaps on the inside over here and two over here. Hmm. I like it. Okay, 
Now, I'm just going to go ahead and decorate this. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Probably give it to my granddaughter and put some of her stuff in it or whatever. Um, next time, I'll probably use some pattern paper or double-sided paper or something. Um, I'm going to start using these as little gift boxes instead of buying boxes. Well, that was the whole person buying the thing in the first place. Okay, let me get some paper. Let's break up some scrap paper. Um, you know what? I'm going to do that. Let's see. I am a day late. Um, doing this video. Um, I, I, saw, I had some Valentine paper now, but I figured because St. Patrick's Day is coming up soon, we'll go ahead and make one, and cut this paper. Uh, there's only one paper because I got single sheets. When I first started uh, scrapbooking and paper crafting and all that stuff, I was just bring a single, I'm just buying single sheets. So I'm going to cut this in, but since it's four by four, I am going to cut these by about three and three quarter. I'm going to cut four pieces and... We're going to uh, decorate this box. And you know what? I also have some uh, St. Patrick's Day and Fellas that we're going to use. So I'll grab those. I made sure this was in the right direction. Just need four. Fine. Say pepper stage decorations real quick. I'm just gonna embellish with some of Okay, so I cut the paper down three. I cut them four and four. I gotta cut this at three and three quarters. Duh, cut them too big. I just realized that. Let's cut these down three and three quarters. Dang it, Trish, pay attention. So, sorry guys. I literally cut these at four by four instead of three and quarter. Three and three quarters. about that guys okay now I cut these all right well I guess it probably wouldn't matter what if I cut them but these are gonna be cute okay let's go ahead and glue these on I like my tombow glue I'm getting low on I gotta get some more So I'll probably go to my granddaughter, but I'll probably do something else with it. Not since I'm decorating it in St. Patrick's Day decor. I think what I'll probably do is I'll get some more white because of the cut marks in the middle on the inside. I'm going to get some white and three by three pieces of white or green and cover the insides too. Cricket. Ah, put it on cricket. Oh well. Be 
straight. One more side. I think I might go ahead and do that. Go ahead and cut some more pieces to cover the, the inside. Get some green. Uh, and and it makes it a little bit more sturdy too. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to get a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock green. I know I have that, this, that white core uh, cover. Cute. Come on, guys. Let's get a green piece of that 12 by 12. And we're going to cover it. We're going to go ahead and coat it inside. This time, I'm going to cut it at 3 and 3 quarter. And not 4. And I'm going to cut 5 pieces. I'm going to cover the bottom, too. Call it green, but hey, it's green. So now we're going to cover the inside. Let's do the bottom first. Let's see if we can get that in there straight. This. this is my first uh, St. Patrick's Day project. more piece. Hmm. Now so far, every tool that I've used for the first time, I like. So I don't have to worry about finding some way to Pass it on to somebody else. So, I'm not getting it. Okay, that come all the way through. There's the inside of the box. Okay, now I got some uh, St. Patrick's Day decorations. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and close the box. Okay, this 
because this one will be so top doesn't look finished and it needs something oh i can't get that to close okay got it and there it is the bottom i'm not going to do the bottom okay let's see i got some of those i don't think i probably lose my bling on this and yeah we'll hold up on those let's just stick some of these on here Pop up the stick that right there. I'll probably cut something out on my cricket later. Um, let's put something inside and uh, put St. Patrick, happy St. Patrick's Day on or something. Cute, okay. Well, that's it, guys. I guess I think that's all I want to do with that. You know what. Let's put one on the opposite side over here, in the opposite corner. There. All right. Well, right for right now, I'm going to call that finished. But it's cute. I like the box. I like this little box punch thingy. So there it is, guys. My gift box punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. I like it, and hopefully it'll be another tool that I tend to use more often. Alright, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a crafty day. Bye.